Hey everyone, I'm going to talk about blind signatures, uh, which is based on RSA encryption. Alright, so first I want to talk about what RSA encryption actually is. It's an asymmetric uh, encryption technique, which allows two parties to exchange encrypted messages without ever having to have met each other or to share a key. This is done by a signer generating two large prime numbers, P and Q, of similar size, and N, P multiplied by Q, taking the totient of that N, P minus 1, multiplied by Q minus 1, generating two other variables, E, a small odd number, and D, 2 multiplied by the totient of N plus 1 divided by E. Now, what does this allow us to do? So the signer, who generated all that information, hides everything except E and N. This is the signer's public key. The only thing that's, sep that's kept secret is D. That's the signer's private key. So what happens is someone wants to send the signer a message. M uh, is then raised to the power of E and taken modulus N, which creates the encrypted message C. The signer receives that message and is able to decode it without anyone else knowing what the message is. Uh, and this is done by raising C to the power of D and taking that modulus N, which then generates the original message M. So, what if someone wants to have the message verified that it is from them? Let's say you're, you're wanting to send a message to a bank, letting the, uh, whoever else know that you have a note that's worth one hundred dollars. So you generate the message M. Uh, think of a random number between zero and N and generate M prime, which is M multiplied by R raised to the E power and that's taken modulus N. The signer then creates S prime, which is M prime raised to the D power mod N. The signer has no idea what the original message is, only you can decrypt that information. Um, you and the verifier can verify that, that information and the message is correct. So unblinding the message, creating the original S, which would be uh, to verify that the message is from you. This is done by taking S prime, which the signer generated, multiplied by the inverse of R, your random number, mod N. The verifier can then take that number, raise it to the E power mod N, and this generates the original message. So let's do an example. Alright, so I'm just going to use small prime numbers as an example to help you guys understand the idea. So we're going to generate our P, which is going to be 17, and our Q, which will make 23. So that makes n, which is the multiply of those two. I'm going to equal 391. And our totient of n is going to equal p minus 1 multiplied by q minus 1, which is 16 multiplied by 22, equaling 352. Uh, we'll generate a small odd number, E, which, uh, let's do 5. And another number, D, which is 2, multiplied by the totient of N, uh, which is uh, 352. And we're going to add 1 to that. And we're going to divide all of that by 5. And that's going to give us 141. Alright, so that leaves us with a public key of 5 and 391, and the private key of 141 and 391. This is what we keep secret as the signer. So, if we generate a message, 89 to the E power, uh, and then take that mod 391 
which leaves us with 378. That message is then sent on to the signer, which takes 378, raises it to the D power, raises it to the D power, and takes that number, mod uh, N, which is 391, which leaves us with our original message, 89. So, our message was able to be transmitted from one person to another without anyone in between knowing what the original message was. Uh, and our signer was able to decrypt the message and get back the original, uh, the original M, 89. So, what do we do now if we want to have the signer verify that the message is in fact from us, but have them not know what the message is, so we can then send that message on to another person. So how we're going to do that is we're going to take our original message, M, uh, and generate a random number between 0 and N, picked 48. We're going to take M multiplied by 48 raised to E mod N, 391. And this is going to come out to be 65. So that's M prime. Now, we're going to generate S prime, which is our hidden message. M prime, 65, raised to the D power and taking that mod n which was 391 and that gives us that gives us 56 and remember that d was equal to uh, 141 all right so after we have that information to generate S for the original message, we're going to multiply S prime by the inverse of R, uh, and this is um, going to be 334. We're going to take that mod n, which is 391, which in total gives us 327. Oops. Oops. Three hundred and twenty-seven. So our verifier can now get our original message um, by doing s to the e power and that should equal our number mod n and sure enough it turns out to be 89 all right, so that's blind signatures. Um, this is a really useful technique. I found it interesting, uh, and I think you should definitely look into more of the math, but this is a simple introduction, and I thank you all for listening. Goodbye.